Hello there. We're so glad that Luminello sparked your interest. Our goal today with this video is to show you how we can simplify your everyday tasks with our platform. This is a small overview of the 10 time-saving tips that I will be sharing with you today. Without further ado, these are 10 ways that we can save you time every day. To start, when you first log into your Luminello platform, you're going to see your dashboard. We have designed it to have everything that you may need to start your day. You have a summary of your recent messages. This is a combination of actual messages from patients or clients, and it's also where you will find system notifications. For example, I have a new rating scale here that I can review. You will also find your shortcuts and they're always at the top of your screen as well. So you can use them no matter in which Luminello page you are. They basically help you access another area of Luminello with less clicks. For example, if I wanted to send a form, I can look for the patient and click on send form. Other things from your dashboard include your schedule for the day and your task due for the day. Our main or first time-saving tip that I will share right now is actually this one right here. So if you're doing progress notes or follow-up notes for a patient or a client, you do not need to start a new note every time. I can either clone their note before I see them, or I can previously clone all of the notes for all of my patients and close the tabs throughout the day. So let's clone the note for Mimi right here. As you can see, I can find my previous information from my older note, and now I can make changes if I wish to. For example, before I even start typing, let me show you another time saver. We call them snippets. You may know them as pre-written phrases or macros. So basically you assign a little code to a block of text that you're going to be using often, and you can easily add it on your note or your messages with a couple of keystrokes. So let's do that on our note. Let's say that I want to add MSE2 here. I write my code between two dots, and when I click on the spacebar, it auto types the information for me. So this is going to make it easier for you to write your note every day. Now, the other time-saving tip is actually at the bottom of my note. So I do have the option to record billing right there for my session. I can select my CPT code. I can add a modifier if necessary. I can actually create payer tables with my fees. So every time I select the correct billing code, the right amount is going to show up in this area. No need to remember your fee for each billing code. Now, if I'm doing private pay or out of network billing, this is the easiest workflow to charge in Luminello. With the add-on service with Bluefing, patients can add their credit card on their portal and you will see it as an option for the payment. So I see credit card and the last four digits of that credit card to charge it now. So I can select this option, although I won't because it's a real credit card. And then I can sign my note. And while I sign my note, I'm also charging the credit card. Now that my note has been signed, I have a couple of options here. I could either create an invoice with this transaction or with the add-on service of insurance submission claims, I can submit a claim. I will have this dialog here to review all of my information, making sure that the insurance information is correct, that my correct NPI is added and my correct address. And when everything is ready, I can just submit the claim directly. Now, we know that billing workflows really vary depending on the clinician. So feel free to contact us and book a meeting so that we can help you replicate your workflow in Luminello and answer any questions that you may have. I would like to also quickly show you the financial area where you have an account receivables tab and you have the option to run a credit card for the full amount that the patient or the client owes. You can also super bill or create a super bill for these transactions. 
But actually, another great time saver that we have is the ability for patients to create their own super bill. So we do have a setting. You have the option to go to the billing tab, create super bill right here, select a date range and submit it, and then easily create a super bill with one click, which you can then send through the portal to the patient as a PDF. But if you rather remove this task from your everyday task, you can actually allow patients to go to their portal, go to their billing tab, billing history, select a date range as well, and save the statement as a PDF. Now, let me show you the shortcuts in action. I can click on the shortcuts tab, look for my patient's name, and decide the action that I want to perform. So let's say I want to send a message. It's going to automatically take me to that patient's chart on the email tab, where I can message my patient. If this isn't the correct patient, I can easily click on the title and go to somebody else's chart. Now, one of our other time-saving tips is actually located on the task tab. In here, I can leave myself reminders, or if you work with an assistant, they can leave them for you in this area. Right now, we have this due for today. But if this is something really important and I need to remember as soon as I log into my portal, I can choose to always show the rem this reminder. And as soon as I log in, this is what I'm going to see. This yellow sticky on my face so I can remember to do what I'm supposed to do. If you'd rather not have it right there, you can choose to only display it when you open that particular person's chart. And you can choose not to display the yellow sticky but it will still show up right here on your dashboard. So we've talked a lot about patients and their portal and their ability to do certain things there, um, but how do you give access to your patients or clients so they can have access to their portal? So the easiest way in our time-saving tip is actually through the referrals page right here in pre-screen. So each clinician has their own personalized link that they can, let's say, paste on their website or anywhere else where their services are being advertised. And this is what patients are going to see. I can click on, as a patient, request a consultation. This is not an emergency. And I can complete the pre-screen by giving my data. So I can put my name, last name, date of birth, phone number, answer clinical questions as well. Clinicians have power over this. They can customize their pre-screen a little bit and they can make sure to add questions that they really need to know before they decide to either approve or decline this request. Requests are going to be saved here under the request tab where you can review what the patient has responded. And if it's a patient that you would like to accept, you can click on I want to and approve. Approving the request is going to do two things. It's going to automatically create the chart with the information that the patient or client provided. And it's also going to notify them so that they can create their credentials to access their portal. Once they have their portal, you can start sending them intake forms, questionnaires, or anything that you might need. Perhaps you need them to e consent to your policies before you can even book a meeting for them. This is another of our time-saving tips. If you go to practice, practice, and my PDFs, you can upload the policies of your practice in a PDF format. And as long as display in portal and enable for e-consent are checkmarked, you don't have to send these forms to your patients every time they have a new portal. The PDFs will already be available in their account. So as a patient, I can go to my documents tab, find the PDF, download it if I need to, and then I can click on, I have read and agreed to the terms of this document and sign it. No need to have any PDF editor or anything of that sort. And of course, you will be notified once they e-consent to your policies. Another great time saver that we have is actually here on the calendar. So remember when we cloned the note for Mimi? 
I can see that I signed my note because of this circle with a checkbox. If I have saved my note as a draft, I will see this little clipboard. I can see I already billed for the session. And if I wanted to also check this patient in, I can click on the appointment and check in. There are also other shortcuts here. If I click on the appointment, I can clone my previous note if I have one. If it was the first time seeing the patient, it would say compose note. I can record payment for the session. And if an appointment is online, like this one that has the little camera, I can quickly click here to go to my Doxy waiting room. So you can log in from your Luminato platform. Our integration with Doxy allows you to book an appointment with someone that has access to their portal and you can easily turn it into an online appointment. The patient will receive a notification, so no need to send the link. They just have to log into their portal, go to their home screen, and the link will be readily available at all times. With online booking, you also have the ability of allowing patients to book their own appointments in your calendar. As a patient, I can go to my schedule, book new appointment, select my provider. Location is just the name of the calendar. You have the option to mix and match. So let's say if you have a hybrid, some of your appointments are telehealth while others are in person, you can notify them right here on the location. I can select my type of appointment, show available times, and I will be able to book on an available slot. Now, how do I separate those times on my calendar? So you have the option of blocking times. Let's say that from this time to this time, I want to reserve for online booking. I can choose what types of appointments I want to see that day. You create the, these previously. I can connect them to one of my calendars and then I can save that availability. So your patients won't have access to your whole calendar, only to the areas that you have separated for that option. Now, this isn't a time saver per se, but for our prescribing clinicians, we just wanted to quickly show you how easy you can prescribe with the Doctor First integration. So once Doctor First is integrated, you can just access the patient's chart and go to the Rx tab and click on Create New Prescription. You can look for the medication. You can select a pharmacy right here. Once you look for the pharmacy the first time, it will be set as a default for that particular patient, so no need to do it every time. You can also add the instructions. So take this amount this many times throughout the day. You can also add quantity and refills if it's available for that particular medication. You can review your script one last time before you save it as a pending Rx and it will be added to your pending list. Once it's in your pending list, you can either add more medications to send them all at the same time, or if you're only sending one, it will prompt you to add your signature password. If this is a non-controlled substance, this will be the last security step. But if it is a controlled substance, you have this other step. You would add your signature passphrase, select a token, so you can have a physical token, a little device, we call it hard token, and a soft token, which is one on your phone. You can decide which one to use and then just add the pin number that is displayed on the screen when you want to send the prescription. And that is all. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out at sales at luminello.com. You can also feel free to schedule a demo if you need more information, or if you just have a couple of questions, you can schedule a quick questions meeting. You can also give us a call at the number on the screen, Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. Try it out for yourself. You can subscribe to any of our premium plans and you have 30 days to try it out. If you have any questions, we also offer an onboarding meeting where we will help you replicate your workflow in Luminello. We also have amazing customer support that is ready to answer your questions and guide you in the right direction.